Presentation slides are one of the most powerful ways to share information and teach others, but most fall short when it comes to accessibility. And that means a huge part of your audience might be left out. In this video, I'm going to help you change that. You'll learn the best accessibility practices for content creation, how to create a compliant presentation or training modules, and I'll even dissect three real-world examples of accessible presentations done right. First, my name is Mike Ploger, and every week I make videos that help you design better for your business. If you find this one helpful, I'd really appreciate a like or even a subscribe to the channel. Every like helps us reach more folks just like you aiming to make better content for their brands. Accessibility isn't just a nice to have feature, it's an essential requirement for effective communication. There are four principles that form the foundation of accessibility, known as POR. Let's break them down. The first is perceivable. This means your content needs to be presented in ways that everyone can understand, whether they're watching, listening, or using assistive tech. Think alt text for images, captions for videos, high contrast colors, and offering both visual and audio formats of your content. The next is operable. Your slides should be easy to navigate whether someone is using a mouse, keyboard, or voice control. That means making everything keyboard friendly, avoiding content that could trigger seizures, and giving viewers enough time to read and interact. Then we have understandable. This is all about clarity and consistency. Use simple language, predictable layouts, and make sure your interface behaves in ways that users can expect. And finally, we have robust. Your content should work well with different devices and assistive technologies now and in the future. That means following standard guidelines and testing to make sure everything works properly. Now let's talk about how you can actually build an accessible presentation using VizMe, the best interactive content platform and content authoring tool on the market. First, search for VizMe.com and log in or start a free account. It takes just a few seconds and they don't ask for a credit card. Then we have step one, draft your content outline and script. First, accessibility starts with structure. Before you jump into your design, lay out your slide content in a logical order. This helps with reading order later, which is key for screen readers. You can use a Google Doc, but Visme's whiteboard tool also works great for mapping things out visually. Here's a peek at a few of the Visme whiteboards you can use for project planning and mind mapping. Next, either choose a template or start from scratch. A template saves so much time, but starting with a blank one gives you full control over how your content is added. That's important because the order you add content determines the final reading order for screen readers. If you're collaborating with a team, use Visme's sharing and workflow tools to assign tasks, leave comments, and keep everything moving smoothly. Now begin adding your content. Start with the title, then subtitle, and then body text boxes. Save images and visuals for last. For video, think about its role. If it's essential to the slide, add it right after the title. If it's supplemental, add it at the end. Stick with accessible formatting. Use sans serif fonts, keep text above 18 point, and clearly mark links with underlines and descriptive labels. You can also use Visme's AI tools to help fine tune your text or edit visuals for better clarity. Add alt text to images and charts. Every image or chart in your presentation needs a description. Click the menu and find the alternate text option to add this. If an image is purely decorative, make sure to mark it in that way too. Step five, add audio and video with captions. You can add voiceovers or narrations for your slides using Visme's Presenter Studio or upload pre-recorded clips. For uploaded videos, add captions directly in Visme. For embedded videos from places like YouTube or Vimeo, just enable captions in their settings. You can also use Visme's audio hotspots to provide explanations or extra context. And for quick accessibility wins, try the built-in text-to-speech generator to convert slide text into AI-generated audio. Step six, use the accessibility checker. This tool helps you spot issues with contrast, font size, alt text, reading order, and more. Use it throughout the process, not just at the end, to make sure your presentation stays on track. And here's the bonus. Visme's visual simulator can show you how your slides might appear to users with various visual impairments. That way, you can make adjustments before your audience ever sees the final product. 
Now, finding accessible presentations to show you was the most challenging part of this video. I looked through hundreds because so many don't fit all of the needed requirements. Most importantly, none worked perfectly with a screen reader. I used the NVDA simulator from Assistive Labs and the Web Outload Chrome extension to test them. Nonetheless, these results show how important it is that more and more presentations are created with accessibility in mind. So let's take a look at these examples and discuss what works and what doesn't. Essity, a leading global hygiene and health company, created this presentation to report on their work and growth. These are the aspects that make it accessible. The text follows a clear hierarchy and has good readable sizes in sans serif font. The blue over the white has a good contrast. And some slides have white context over colored blocks and photos, but still have good contrast. The content is organized logically and flows from one idea to another using headings, subheadings, and bullet points. The images have alt text, but unfortunately they were generated by AI and are a bit off the mark. This presentation from the PDF Association is a bit of a mixed bag. The content in the PDF accessibility presentation slides is well designed for accessibility. Still, since they use a master design for every slide with repeating text, the screen reader reads it all at the start of each slide. Aside from that, the content in the slides is accessible in the following ways. The text is a sans serif font and is black over a white background, creating a good contrast. It follows a good order on each slide and the sizes are good for accessibility. Hyperlinks are underlined, showing that they aren't just text. Using a URL as a hyperlink isn't the ideal option, but it still works better than the word here with a link. This FILA presentation is long, almost 100 pages, and covers the main accessibility standards. Unfortunately, the images aren't properly tagged. The text is sans serif and properly sized at 18 points, even on the disclaimer side, which has a lot of content. The charts use these same bright colors, but the contrast is good, so it's easy to see the difference between data points. Slides have a lot of empty white space, giving the content enough space to stand alone and be easy to read. Their legends are also contrast well, except for a thin yellow line, which could be problematic. To wrap up, accessibility isn't extra work. It's just better design. When your presentation is inclusive, it's more effective. And with tools like Visme, it's not just doable, it's actually super easy. So that's how you can create accessible presentations that work for everybody. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and Leave a comment if you've got questions or ideas for future videos. My name is Mike Ploger, and thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next video.